We are on the water this morning with our Red Bay Storm Force 7.4 meter diesel powered rib. So this boat is, um, it was built 2013 but first sold and commissioned in uh, 2021. So it's only got like, less than 100 hours on the clock. It presents just like a new boat. It's fitted with a Hyundai 250 horsepower turbo diesel uh, engine matched up to a Mary Cruiser Bravo 1X stern drive and that is spinning a three blade stainless steel prop which is 24 inch pitch and i have been looking forward to getting this thing on the water because i think it's going to be a great boat to drive obviously being a red bay storm force rib these things have legendary seat keeping ability um but i haven't ran one with the diesel engine yet so interested to see how it performs obviously the benefits of diesel are that you can fuel up anywhere around the country you can get a tanker down or you can get fuel on the on the water pretty easily this boat is sort of spec'd to commercial grade, um, so it would be an ideal like rescue boat or tender or something like that um, to a larger vessel. So again, in those sort of circumstances, the diesel power is preferable to um, if you can fuel up from the mothership sort of, sort of thing. But uh, we're going to get it out on the on Lux Willie here now today and put her through her paces and just show you how this thing performs on her way. She's an absolutely stunning bit of kit. We will walk through the dash in detail when we get her out on the water here, but for now we're just going to start her up, so make sure she's in neutral, make sure you've got the run switch attached, make sure that the leg is trimmed down, which it is, she's fully down on the trim gauge, and just turn the key to fire her up. Nice smooth running motor, very little noise or vibration on the boat. The raw water strainer is easy to get to as well. I'll just open up this engine hatch to show you that. You've got your strainer there, so it's easy to keep an eye on the flow of cooling water. All the service checkpoints are at the front of the engine as well, which is handy for maintenance. Again, the things look brand new condition wise. So, let's get her out on the lock and see what she can do. So we're out on the water now. It actually is. It's lovely enough day, there's a bit of wind here today coming down the lock, so good day for testing it. We've been running around now for probably 15 20 minutes or so, and we're bone dry, I haven't taken any water over the nose. The, these boats really do run exceptionally well, so just turn into the wind to try and get it a bit, make it a bit quieter for walking you through the dashboard. So, hydraulic steering in this boat is nice and light. We've got a top mount throttle and shift lever here. And the gear shift is very nice. Forward, neutral, reverse. It's all nicely balanced with a trim control on the side of the lever. And we have a range of analog instruments here. So we've got a temperature gauge sitting in the middle of the gauge. We've got a rev counter here. We're uh, just idling at the moment. Power trim gauge is working as well. If we trim the drive up and down, all the instruments are working. Fuel gauge here, full tank of diesel on this boat, and voltmeter, so she's charging. We also have the Hyundai Seesaw engine indicator, so it's a bit of digital information. Um, gives you uh, a, a range of things, but the most important one for me today has been, or will be the, the fuel flow. So this is our fuel flow in liters per hour. So at idle here, we're just burning 1.4 liters per hour. Um, Volts are on there as well. Running time, now this is like a since, a since reset, so it's not total engine running time, it's just since the trip was reset. Wide open throttle running time does appear to be a hard stored item, so she's at 3.3 hours running at wide open throttle. That's our digital RPM. And engine temperature in degrees Celsius. What's this here? This is a, I'm not too sure what that is, I think it might be a fuel percentage, but I don't think that's connected. 
and then we're back to liters per hour. So this is our fuel flow, uh, which we'll keep an eye at at our various running speeds. And we've also then got our speedo here is on the GPS. So this is our Garmin GPS. Um, there's no charts actually loaded for this area on this chart plotter, but the chart plotter itself is like brand new. But we've got the GPS speed here, so three knots is uh, what we're tipping along at, at idle. And then we've got our Garmin VHF radio as well, which is working. So everything on the dash is working perfectly. And uh, yeah, we'll pay attention to the speed and fuel flow while we're running this thing. Um, so let's just put it up on plane, now heading into the wind. And we'll bring it up to play, up the uh, sort of cruising speed, two and a half thousand RPM or thereabouts. So here we go, engine trim down. speed run. Boat. This thing runs fantastically well. Cruises there at about two and a half thousand RPM. It's doing 20 knots. 
and, and burning 20 litres of fuel an hour flat out. We were getting just a shy of 40 knots, low. if it was a bit calmer, we probably would get 40 knots out of her. At, uh, I don't even remember, I couldn't even, I forgot to look at the RPM, but fuel flow is about 50 litres of fuel an hour. So this thing, if the fuel consumption is so low, I'm just going to double check it when I get home, do a bit of research on it, because it seems incredibly easy on fuel. You know, you're talking like a litre of diesel per nautical mile, which is unbelievable. Um, but uh, we'll double check those figures and make sure that wee boy was not reading a bit low, but very, very easy on diesel. Great performance. These things are fantastic performing hulls. Um, really horrible sort of conditions out there today, and it doesn't upset it in the slightest. Um, great running boat. So, uh, yeah, that's how this Red Bay 7.4 meter diesel Storm Force runs on the water. Um, we will be shooting the showroom tour of this boat in the near future. If you've any interest in it, if you want to come and have a look at it, if you want to arrange a sea trial or a survey, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We have the red bait out of the water now and we um, we ran around for another 45 minutes or so to an hour on the boat because we're having that much fun. Um, but this thing, it really does run well. I've also done a bit of research there um, on the phone and seemingly the fuel consumption figures are correct. This Hyundai Seesaw engine is just incredibly easy in fuel. The other thing I want to show is if it's a four blade prop. Sorry, I think I said it was a three blade it's actually a four blade prop so that helps a whole shot and it's a 24 inch pitch so it's 15 and a quarter by 24 inch pitch it's actually a Suzuki prop but it it's got the correct hub kit for putting on the Mercruiser drive so 24 inch pitch and because there is so much power in that thing you could easily up that if you wanted to squeeze another knot or two the top end out of it you could put a larger pitch on but I think that's a perfect balance of getting the boat on playing quickly and economical running. It does appear to be the case that this engine is just incredibly economical. It's about, it burns about a litre of fuel per nautical mile, which is incredible. Um, and the literature on the boat from Red Bay says that it has a range of around about three, between 300 and 350 miles, um, which is just unbelievable. Um, so I know there, there's always a, a lot of people are huge fans of outboard engines now, um, but with fuel economy like that, and the ease of access to diesel as well no matter where you go around the country you'll always get a, a tank full of diesel um, th there's a lot of positives with going with a diesel fuel boat so just wanted to show you the uh, the steering drive show you the prop size and just confirm that those fuel consumption figures are, are accurate so the boat will cruise at anywhere from like 15 to 16 knots at minimum plane and speed economical cruise most economical cruise is uh, about 23 24 knots and it's burning like 24 liters of fuel an hour and flat out we were seeing 40 knots and the fuel consumption was going up to 15 liters of fuel per hour so fabulous running hull great going boat and uh yeah performance just like brand new so there you go that is how the uh the red bay Storm Force 7.4 meter runs on the water. Stay tuned for uh, more details from the showroom video. And if you get any interest in the boat, if you want to come and have a look at it, please don't hesitate to give me a shout. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you find it useful.